Susie's World, coming to you all the way from Waipapa Point, bottom of the South Island of, you guessed it, New Zealand, Aotearoa. <laughs> well, what's here at Waipapa Point? Well, Waipapa Point Lighthouse is right here. And today's question is what does a lighthouse do? I haven't been into a lighthouse, but I haven't seen one. It looks out for ships that um, bang into rocks. So that um, um, the lighthouse keeper can um, see what's happening out and see at night. It shines a light so people can see where they're going. I don't know that question. A lighthouse looks for ships and boats. It's got a light that goes on and off. Reflects the light from the ships out at the sea. You know, you could be right there. What have we got? We've got a lighthouse. Light house. When you break the two words up, you get a house with lights. But when you think about it, this lighthouse does look a bit like a house. It has windows and a roof. But instead of some lights, it just has one big one. So what's it here for? Is it a viewing platform for tourists? Not too many tourists around here at the moment. And that big light, it's not on. So maybe I just need to, to stay here, yes, and, and observe the lighthouse. That's what a scientist would do, would observe and scrutinise, be totally aware of what was going on, be alert at all times. So I'll just stay on guard. The scientist is still waiting and this lighthouse is not lit. I think it's time for me to take a quick dash to somewhere with more information. Just need the remote control. That's more like it. One remote control. Huh, that's better. Here I am at Southam Museum in Invercargill. What? You can't see all of me. Oh, hang on. Ah, there, that's much better. Here's all of me at Southam Museum in Invercargill. And behind me is a lighthouse of sorts. This is an old light from Waipapa Point. And as you can see, it's on and turning. So, a lighthouse on a cliff above the sea, turning. The plot thickens. Here are all the lighthouse points for New Zealand. Lighthouses are all around New Zealand. They're from Cape Reunga all the way down to Dog Island. Now let's look to see if this map can give more clues. Okay, there's one thing. Lighthouses all seem to be on the coast, near the sea. Ah, all the lighthouses are on the coast. Hmm. If all lighthouses are on the coast, and they're above the sea like Waipapa, and they have a light, hmm, I wonder. Ah yes, haremai, come hither, I have great news. I have come to a conclusion. I know exactly what a lighthouse does. Are you ready for it? Okay, here goes. Lighthouses are on coastal areas of New Zealand where it is safe to swim. So, people look at a lighthouse to find out whether it's safe to swim. If the light's on and flashing, they can swim. Look, I might even go for a dip myself. <gasps> Hang on. The only time you can see the light from a lighthouse is at night. And there's not too many people swimming at night. Okay, so maybe that wasn't a very good guess. I think we'll just have to keep watching. While we're waiting, how about another clue? This is the night of April 29, 
1881, and I'm on the ship Tararua. We're off the coast of Aotearoa, New Zealand, in Fogo Strait, when something happened. We hit a reef of rocks, the rocks at Waipapa Point. There's 151 passengers and crew aboard. It's not looking good for us. The rocks were hidden under the big seas. I think the Tararua is going to sink. Okay, a clue as to what a lighthouse does. A ship off the coast of Waipapa Point hit some hidden rocks that couldn't be seen and went down. Now, only 20 of the 151 people on board survived the Tararua disaster. And there are several things from the Tararua wreck around the museum. Here's a life preserver from the Tararua. It was for the passengers to hold on to to keep them afloat while they tried to swim to shore in the stormy seas. And here's a picture of the Tararua as it was sinking. After the Tararua disaster, the Waipapa Point lighthouse was built. So, what does a lighthouse do? Out there, about a kilometre out there, and underneath the water are rocks. Lots of them. In fact, a whole reef of rocks. And it was those very rocks that caused the disaster for the Tararua back in 1881. Those rocks can trip a ship up, put a hole in it, sink it and lose lives. And in fact, 131 lives were lost that night. Now, this lighthouse here says, beware, rocks are near. It flashes its light as a warning to ships to say, hey, rocks are close, keep away. And if this lighthouse had been around in 1881, the Tararua might have had a happy ending. This is the night of April 29, 1881, and I'm on the ship Tararua. We're off the coast of Aotearoa, New Zealand, in Fogo Strait, in a big storm. It's dark and hard to see anything at all. Ahoy! Captain! Lighthouse to the left of us! So, if there'd been a lighthouse, on that night the Tararua would not have hit the rocks and the 151 people aboard would have been safe and the ship would have continued on to Melbourne. So, if all these are the points where New Zealand lighthouses are, there must be reefs of rocks at those points too. There they are. Where there's rocks, there's a lighthouse. Oh look, the lighthouse is on. Woohoo! And now it's off. I don't believe that. I have been here waiting all this time, observing, scrutinizing. Oh, hey, it's back on. Cool. Oh, I see. The Waipapa Point lighthouse flashes five times and then it goes off. And then it flashes five times and then it goes off and then it flashes five times and then it goes off. And, uh, all through the night. And those flashes can be seen by ships up to 22 kilometres away. And basically what it's saying is, hey guys, keep those ships away from here. There are rocks everywhere. So that's the lighthouse question answered. Why don't you make a map of New Zealand and pinpoint all the lighthouses around the coasts? Or maybe find out about some of the shipwrecks. Believe me, there have been a lot of shipwrecks around New Zealand. If you'd like a fact sheet for this or any other Susie's World program, write to us at PO Box 34307 Auckland or go to the website at www.susie.co.nz. You'll find lots of information there. And thanks for joining me. Happy days. Or should that be happy nights? New Zealand On Air, we couldn't have done it without you.